Hi! We're going to do another DIY session today and today's session we'll be doing um, DIY decorating of the bookshelf. I have this bookshelf that was given to me. It was also handmade by my uncle. It was white and I painted it pink. And so I, have, I love to do DIY stuff and so I've decided to draw on the bookshelf itself. I've drawn some flowers on it and today I'm gonna paint it. Make it look nicer and cuter. Okay, the first thing would be a paintbrush. It's best that you choose a small and thin paintbrush. Um, I'm using a size 0 paintbrush. Yeah, this is the best to do small little details using paint. And next you need a palette with, I've decided to use gold paint today, as you can see. Can you see the gold paint? Yeah. My thing would be like black and gold and pink, so that's the reason for the gold paint. You can choose any other colours that you want. Um, I have lots of it here. I have lots of paint at home. As you can see. Can you see the paint? So, are you ready to start painting? Because I am so ready. I get so excited when it comes to painting and drawing or sketching and whatever art stuff. So, we're going to start doing it, okay? So, I'm left with colouring them only. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that you need markers too. Black permanent marker. Okay, for my case, I've decided to paint the rose black first. Black first because... I wanted to give this gold and black effect to the to the rose. So let's start colouring using a permanent black marker that you can get at any bookshop. We're gonna take the paintbrush and take some gold paint. Mix it up a little bit. And then you can start painting on the black rose. If you find that the paint is a little bit too thick, and it's difficult for you to paint, you can add a little bit of water. You don't have to do it so nicely, yes. So we're done with painting the rose gold. And I'm going to add some friction brushes, which is the dots in the middle. Just add a couple of dots in the middle also, using gold paint to give the effect. You don't have to be so neat. Wait for it to dry, and then you can outline the shapes again to, make, to define the shapes. So you just have to wait for it to dry, if not your markers will get damaged by paint. In the meantime, we're going to do another flower, which is different. This flower, I'm going to paint it black. Just black. No other colours. Since it's quite big, I'm going to use a bigger brush to save time. To save time, I'm going to use black paint this time instead of the marker. Just dab and paint. Not too thick. Just apply a thin layer of paint.
Okay, so we're done. It's a little bit messy, but it's okay. I'm going to touch up later on. But for now, we're going to let it dry. Before we do anything more to it, we're going to let it dry. Okay? So, red paint. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that, I, that I'm using um, acrylic paint. Not poster color, okay? Remember, not poster color because it's not waterproof. I click it, but not post it. So I'm done painting with painting the flower black. So we can move on to painting it gold, the outline I mean. This outline. Yep, we're done. So, as you can see, I've already outlined this black flower gold also. Just like the other one. And this is how it looks like at the end.